Whew. Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. My, my cousin's up here making fun of me. Um, we were over, the, over at the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame. I did kind of like a quick walkthrough. Um, I'll do a video showing you guys all of the bus and storage and stuff on there once I have a chance to catch my breath. We came over here because I got to get ready to go to the um, Gold Jacket Dinner to cover that. Um, but in the meantime, we have some breaking news in the NFL. It's kind of crazy. I get labeled a Dak Prescott defender, Dak Prescott lover. You think that you're Dak Prescott's daddy. You, you know, you must be on Dak Prescott's payroll by his agent or something. It's like, no. I don't speak just to speak bull crap. I speak to try and tell you and give you guys some knowledge. The reality is, is when Stephen Jones said that his biggest regret was not signing Dak Prescott sooner, he meant that because it wasn't that he wasn't doing the right thing as far as Dak Prescott goes. It was that he was not doing the right thing for the Dallas Cowboys by getting him signed because if he had gotten him signed three years ago, it would have been for a lot less money. But I kept saying that you must get Dak Prescott's contract done because other guys were basically in the barrel ready to go. And I said that about Russell Wilson. I said, you've got to pay Dak before Russell Wilson. And Russell Wilson reset the bar at $45 million, $35 million. And at that point on, the die was cast. Because the thing that's funny is the salary cap, except for a global pandemic, doesn't go down. It's going to rebound. In fact, it's already going to. Interesting thing by Aaron Rodgers, and I'm not an Aaron Rodgers fan, but he actually said this yesterday to the NFL players. He said, wake the F up. He said, here it is. The salary cap's gone down, while the value of the franchise has all gone up. When you think about what they said it, within three years that every NFL franchise would be worth eight to ten billion dollars because of the you know, new sources of revenue between gambling as well as um, new stadiums as well as um, the new television contract they're going to be flush of cash and that eight to ten million dollars understand that today right now the Dallas Cowboys are worth 5.7 billion so you're talking about them doubling in the next three years. So, huh? I don't know. Oh. Mike's? We don't want to come in on the television. Ah, okay. That's Mike's on the Okay, so we're doing the mics. Um, See? Sorry, I digress. My mind is going a thousand miles an hour here. So when you look at, when people look at the contract we signed Dak Prescott, you're not looking forward on it because I said Josh Allen is coming up, Lamar Jackson is coming up, um, Baker Mayfield, and with all this new money, the price tag is going to go up. Do I hear some bells? Yeah, the phone back there ringing in the corner. Who's home? Somebody's phone in the corner. Not Noah. Don't you think you should cut it off so it doesn't kill the battery? Who's phone with it? Who's got in a charger? Oh, that's mine. Oh, it's li like in a little angle one? Oh, yeah, yeah. What's the alarm on it? Okay, I don't know. It's my, my other my, my phone I use for my Mevo. Okay. Um, sorry, I digress again. Enter Josh Allen, who just signed a $258 million contract. Now, don't pay attention to the top number. you got to pay attention to the guaranteed number which is $150 million guaranteed, um, which averages out to $43 million every year. That's not good. So it's probably good. This is, it, it only charged in that cradle. This is my phone before that one. So it must have been the alarm going off on it. Okay, so, sorry, I digress again. Don't have time to reshoot this, so you're just going to have to suck it up and watch it as it is. So, for all the Cowboy fans out there that are saying, you can't pay Dak Prescott, you know, you're going to cripple us. Well, the thing that Dak Prescott's contract, his cap number is $21 million, excuse me, $22 million this year, 31 the following year, which is reasonable. Now, Josh Allen, his deal right now is $6.9 million this year because he's still on his rookie contract. 
So they had some wiggle room that they could play with that. Uh, whereas the Cowboys didn't because his contract expired. But it will escalate in kind, and a lot of that money is salary cap. I mean, it's uh, signing bonus and guaranteed money that gets to be a lump sum check, which is prorated the life of the six years of the contract. So it's not that much as far as that go. And you can play with the numbers and make it funny numbers however you want to. So that's where we are. And I don't expect for, you know, Lamar Jackson to go ahead and sign like a $20 million co contract. I don't expect Baker Mayfield to sign for like a $20 million contract. The reality is, since Troy Aikman got his, one of the first big contracts in the NFL, quarterback compensation has been going through the roof, and it will continue to go through the roof. And I'm waiting to hear all the people that are saying that Josh Allen's contract is going to hamstring him, that teams that pay the quarterback never win the Super Bowl and all that kind of stuff. I, I, I bet you that nobody blinks a freaking eye. I bet you some people will go through and say, this was a wise move to do that, you know, because Josh Allen is great. But I'm going to say... Josh Allen had basically the same thing that Dak Prescott had when he got Amari Cooper with Diggs. Right. If you look at the numbers for Josh Allen his first couple of years, they're average at best. Average at best. But he brings in a great wide receiver, and his numbers go up. Huh. So are we saying that he needs those guys, Jana Wolf? Is that what you're saying? You know, Josh Allen needs guys that Josh Allen can't throw the ball to himself at that kind of money? Huh. Interesting. All right, with that being said, I got my man Richard Cole. So, I guess I need to end this video. Peace. Hey friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Lee Sports Report. Without you guys and you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, this is incredible coming here to Canton, uh, seeing all the statues and stuff. This is almost like hollow ground. When you start seeing the beginning of the NFL and the relationship that it has and the impact that it's had on the world, it's, it's actually beyond just a sport. It is a driver and the culture, society, as well as the world. And as I look here, knowing that three of our Dallas Cowboys cornerstone pieces are going to be joining their brethren, I wonder where the next generation of Dallas Cowboys. We'll have a few more in there. We know that Jason Witten will go in there. We know that uh, uh, D. Ware will go in there. But beyond that, we actually have a drought of players that belong here in Canton. I'm hoping that yesterday or Wednesday, when the Cowboys got here, that they got a chance to come through here and to see all of this. Because to see the greatness that is and the excellence that these guys showed on the field and off the field to become the 350 best players in the history of football. To have them have something to strive for, to try and be a part of, and to hopefully end up here. Congratulations to Cliff Harris, Drew Pearson, and Jimmy Johnson, and I'm happy that Jerry Jones and uh, Jimmy Johnson have kind of kissed and made up, although in some regards, maybe it was Jerry trying to steal a little bit of the shine off of it. Uh, Jerry was actually just over here in this other room, and um, we've got to go ahead and do some more stuff here. Um, I wish I had more time that I could go through here and just show you guys all of the sights and sounds and everything that is at the Hall of Fame, but if you ever get the chance and the opportunity, you must come to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. It's just beginning, y'all.